From my side, there will never be an agreement to break the constitution, said the president, Andrzej Duda. He points out that this is exactly the situation that we are facing now. The ruling coalition, which is trying to take over the public media, has broken these rules, said Andrzej Duda in his traditional New Year's address. President Andrzej Duda delivered his New Year's address in the White Hall, named after Lech Kaczynski. It is a symbolic place. It is worth remembering that cooperation between Prime Minister Donald Tusk and the late President Lech Kaczynski was difficult. In 2007, Prime Minister Tusk refused to allow President Kaczynski to use a military aircraft and also publicly questioned the president's mandate during international conferences. The head of the president's office, Marcin Mastalerek, said that President Duda was willing to cooperate and was ready to face any challenges arising from disagreements. These were two different and contradictory messages. The president pointed out the greatest threats, spoke of the violation of the constitution and the rule of law, and said that there would be no consent. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Donald Tusk has a very different take on the changes in the public media. Let's call a spade a spade, legally, according to the law, our interpretation of them. Interestingly, even members of the 13 December's coalition believe that the actions of Cultural Minister Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz regarding public media raise a lot of doubts. I have legal doubts about Mr. Sienkiewicz's decision. The decision is fraught with legal risks. Minister Sienkiewicz's nominees for the position of the media CEOs refer to the provisions of the Commercial Companies Code, but the law is regulated by statute, in this case, the National Media Council Act of 2016. Since 20th December, protests have been held across the country against the draconian changes to the media. Prime Minister Tusk did not mention the issue in his New Year's address. The past months have taught us that the impossible becomes possible. Today, as Prime Minister, I stand with you on TVP, and I can repeat my oath. The list of pre-election promises made by the Civic Coalition is long. The changes will not only affect the public media. Resolutions of the same do not have the force of law to be basis of actions of state bodies that affect citizens. Such actions are also blatantly incompatible with the Constitution. During the election campaign, Donald Tusk and other liberal politicians announced that the president of the National Central Bank, Adam Glapiński, and the president of the Constitutional Tribunal, Julia Przyłębska, would be removed from their post by so-called strong men. This is exactly the way to introduce changes in the public media that the president Duda opposes.